Does your game stutter even though your hardware seems more than capable? Are those random freezes or inconsistent mouse movements ruining your gameplay, even when you're pulling high FPS? If you've ever wondered why your games feel laggy even when the frame counter looks fine, you're in the right place. Today, I'm going to show you how to stabilize performance, reduce 1% lows, and get smoother gameplay without installing a single piece of third-party software. This is a clean, minimal, no-blow guide for optimizing your system, and yes, it works for games like Counter-Strike 2 and many others. What you'll need before we start. This tutorial is designed for users with NVIDIA graphics cards. If you're on AMD, many concepts still apply, but certain steps will differ. We're also going to mention how you can benchmark results if you want to. Step 1. Set up for testing. Optional, but helpful. Before diving into advanced tweaks, it's smart to track how your system is currently performing. This way, you'll have hard data to compare before and after applying changes. One of the best tools for this is CapFrame X, a lightweight, free benchmark and frame analysis tool that gives detailed insights into real-world gaming performance. Why use CapFrame X? CapFrame X tracks average FPS, 1% and 0.1% lows, which are great for measuring stutters, frame times and stability, system latency behavior. This makes it much more informative than simply checking in-game FPS counters. Configure recording settings. Open CapFrame X after installation. Choose the record tab settings from the sidebar above. Set your hotkeys and timings. Capture key set to something simple like F10 so it's easy to trigger during gameplay. Capture duration set to 30 seconds, enough time to gather meaningful data without needing long runs. Delay, set a five second delay to give yourself time to return to your game window after pressing the hotkey. Open the game you want to test, e.g. before tweaking window settings. Press F10 or your custom hotkey. CapFrame X will automatically start collecting performance data after the delay. After the test run ends, return to CapFrame X and review the graphs and averages. You can run another test after applying system tweaks to see if your average FPS, 1% and 0.1% lows, or frame times have improved. This step is completely optional, but if you're serious about performance tuning, it's one of the easiest ways to visually confirm real-world gains rather than relying on guesswork. Step 2. Add CS2 launch options, or any source-based game. Let's optimize your game's startup behavior by modifying its launch options in Steam. These tweaks can help unlock higher frame rates, reduce latency, and ensure compatibility with performance tools like RTSS or custom overlays. What are launch options? Launch options are commands sent to the game engine when the game starts. They tell the engine how to behave. For example, whether to cap your frame rate, preload content, skip intros, or enable support for third-party software. How to add launch options in Steam? Open Steam, go to your library, right-click on Counter-Strike 2, click Properties. Under the Launch Options section, paste in the following. What these options do? Plus FPS Max, zero removes the built-in frame rate cap. This lets your GPU push the maximum possible FPS based on system power and display refresh rate. Dash No Reflex disables NVIDIA Reflex, a low latency tech that can introduce instability on some systems or cause issues when using manual frame rate capping tools like RTSS. Disable this if you're using custom latency control. Dash allow third-party software. Enables compatibility with third-party performance tools like Riva Tuner Statistics Server, RTSS, CapFrame X, or OBS overlays. Without this, CS2 may block or interfere with external overlays. Note, these launch options only apply to Source Engine games like CS2, CSGO, Team Fortress 2, Left 4 Dead, etc. They will not work in games using different engines, 
e.g. Unreal or Unity, but the next step will work in any game. Step 3. Optimize NVIDIA Control Panel Settings Fine-tuning your GPU settings helps reduce stutter, improve frame pacing, and lower input latency, especially in fast-paced games like CS2. Open NVIDIA Control Panel. Right-click your desktop, NVIDIA Control Panel. Go to Manage 3D Settings. Use Program Settings to apply these tweaks to Counter-Strike 2 only or global settings for system-wide changes. Key settings to adjust. Max frame rate. Turn this on and set the cap to around 10% below your average in-game FPS. For example, if your system usually delivers 200 FPS, set the cap to 180. Why it matters? This is one of the most important settings for improving frame consistency and reducing micro stutter, especially if you're using a variable refresh rate monitor like G-Sync or FreeSync. How to find your average FPS? Use a lightweight benchmarking tool like CapFrame X. It allows you to measure average FPS, track 1% and 0.1% lows, Analyze frame time stability. Record a 30 to 60 second gameplay sample to determine your typical performance, then set your cap accordingly. Capping the frame rate helps ensure smoother frame pacing, lower input latency, and fewer frame spikes, making your game feel more responsive and fluid overall. Low latency mode, set to ultra reduces input lag by minimizing the frame queue. Power management mode, prefer maximum performance, prevents GPU downclocking mid-game. Texture filtering quality, high performance, prioritizes speed over visuals for smoother performance. Vertical sync, off, avoids input lag. Use with a frame cap and G-Sync if available. Optional, if you're using G-Sync, enable it for full screen, windowed, and cap your FPS slightly below your refresh rate. Example, 141 FPS for 144 Hz. Step 4. Disable unnecessary Windows background services. Let's reduce background noise. These services can silently hog CPU time or memory without providing anything useful for gaming or general performance. Disabling them can free up system resources, leading to smoother gameplay and less latency in CPU-bound titles. Caution! Only disable services you're sure you don't need. This guide focuses on commonly safe to disable ones. Steps Press Windows plus R, type services.msc, and hit Enter. In the Services window, scroll through the list. For each service below, double-click, set startup type to disabled, click stop, then apply. Recommended services to disable if unused, connected user experiences and telemetry, Microsoft data collection, safe to disable, geolocation service, only needed for apps using location, Windows search, useful only if you rely on start menu or file explorer search. Downloaded Maps Manager, relevant only for offline maps in apps like Maps. Windows Insider Service, only relevant for Insider Preview Builds. Print Spooler, disable if you don't use a printer. Fax Service, obsolete unless you're actually faxing. Bluetooth Support Service, safe to disable if you never use Bluetooth devices. By reducing the number of active services, you minimize CPU context switching, memory pressure, and unnecessary disk I.O., helping your system focus on gaming performance. Final step, test your game after the changes. Now that you've applied all the tweaks, it's time to test your game and see if things actually feel better. Here's how to do it properly. Restart your PC. This helps make sure all the changes, especially service and registry tweaks, fully apply. Launch your game. Load into the same game or map you usually play. 
Ideally, something familiar so you can tell if it feels smoother. Focus on feel, not just FPS. Don't obsess over the FPS counter. Instead, ask yourself, does the game feel more responsive? Is mouse movement smoother? Are there fewer random stutters? Is input lag improved? Optional, use Cap Frame X or MSI Afterburner with RTSS overlay if you want to measure technical results like frame time consistency or 1% lows. But again, you don't need any software to know if your game feels better. Just trust how your system responds. Remember, these changes are safe when applied correctly, but every PC is different. Try these out and only keep the tweaks that actually help. If something feels off, revert and move on to the next one. Let me know in the comments if you noticed an improvement or if you have your own favorite tweaks others should try. Like if this helped, subscribe for more no-nonsense tutorials, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care and enjoy smoother games.